Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza. I'm here at the Hatfield Public Library with a box of kids books. It's kind of a mixed up box of kids books. Um, some pictures, some beginning reader, I think a few chapter books. I'm just going to go through it real quick uh, and you can see what you think. So the first one, this is uh, actually part of a series. We have a few of the other Fox and Chip Chick books by Sergio Ruzier. Ruzieri, Ruzier. This is called The Sleepover and Other Stories. Um, they're sort of in that classic frog and toad format where it's multiple little stories within the book. They are written like graphic novels, and they're, they're so cute and sweet. I think they um, are really good read-alouds and then potentially also good for someone who's getting started on reading. I'm really mixing it up. Here's an audio, Amari and the Night Brothers. Um, my 10-year-old son read this book, and then he loved it so much that he really wanted me to read it. And I read it and really enjoyed it, too. Um, so, And, you know, we always try to get a few new audiobooks for the summer, especially if people are doing car trips. I think this might be a good one for a family to listen to, even if you have kids of different ages. Ooh, ooh, Lisey Harrison, who I think is normally a teen author. Yeah, she wrote the I can't remember if that was teen or middle grade, but this one specifically is about middle school. It's called The Pack, and the blurb up here is, middle school is a jungle. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, this is about a special school where every girl there has an animal light inside her that's wild and needs to be tamed. Wow, and the it girls are called The Pack. Lots of social drama and sort of a special school. Um, so a fantasy element. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the Hidden Knife by Melissa Marr. I feel like this is another, is this another teen author? Are all the teen authors sneaking over into middle grade? Oh, she says she writes for everyone. Adults, teens, and children. Um and uh da 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 so this seems like a new series i like the cover and a uh, world of humans and the nether world where allowing which has magical creatures and uh, i think this main character is a human child who was raised by a gargoyle nice oh oh and it there sounds like there's also a school element another school book. Amanda Foodie, uh, new series, Wilderlore, The Accidental Apprentice, got quite a dramatic cover. Um, oh, this is about a boy who's apprenticed, an apprentice to a mushroom farmer in Dullshire. I feel like that's probably not the whole book. Um, so, yes, he gets sucked into an adventure where he has to go into the woods, capital W, and there are mis vicious magical beasts, capital B. <laughs> okay, one more middle grade, and then we're going to do some picture books. This one is called, oh, no, this is this is a graphic novel. It's called Turtle in Paradise. Um, aw, it's got kind of a sweet cover. You can see there's a kitty cat. Uh I like this. It doesn't tell us what the book is about. It just has nice blurbs in there. Um, Eleven-year-old turtle is smart and tough, and has seen enough of the world not to expect a Hollywood ending. Blah blah. Okay, so her mom gets a job housekeeping for a lady who doesn't like kids, and so she has to go to Florida to live with relatives. Oh, it's a good premise. Oh, look, how fun. This book is called Dr. Fauci, How a Boy from Brooklyn Became America's Doctor. And it's by Kate Mesner, who's great, um, and illustrated by Alexandra uh, Bai. Um, and he's got had such an interesting life. This is a story I think would be really great to share with kids. Harry versus the first hundred days of school. Emily Jenkins with uh, pictures by Pete Oswald. God, what else has Pete Oswald done? One sec. Sorry about that. Um, pictures by Pete Oswald. I was just trying to figure out who that is. And now I know he did The Good Egg and The Bad Seed, um, some of our absolute favorite picture books. And uh, uh, this is about a kid starting first grade. And look, it's got nice, big... 
um, clear font. I wish there was more pictures. I feel like this good age age group, um, especially with an illustrator like that, looks like the pictures are, hmm, I don't know. Oh, this is nice, but uh, yeah, it looks it looks fun. A total waste of space time. What a fun title for a book. And this is by Jeffrey Brown. Um, it's a graphic novel, kind of fun, it's a back to basics with no color. And it is, um, it says it's by the author of the Jedi Academy series, which has been really just popular and fun here at the library. Oh no, the night before the dentist. This is perfect. It doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while, um, I have a family come in where the kid who has to go to the dentist and they're kind of nervous. So I really like um, that, that they made a little picture book to help us with that. Sarah Moto's Swim Club, How a Teacher Led an Unlikely Team to Victory by Julie Abery and Chris Sastiki. And, oh, it's about a swim club in um, Hawaii, but they have no pool and no experience. And the teacher who decides to start the swim club can barely swim. And then they end up um, in national swimming swimming scene so that's that's pretty exciting a lot of people like those long shot sports stories how to apologize <laughs> david la, Roche la rochelle and um illustrated by mike wonoka i really feel like um this seems great because i just always used to have a lot of drama in my house because if you asked my daughter to apologize she was just say like i hate to apologize even if she felt bad about any something that happened she just got really upset about the like the idea of apologizing just really stressed her out so i sort of like the idea of a picture book sort of like walking us through and maybe a little bit of a how to element and um i don't know i can totally see how maybe that would have helped us at the time and maybe will help other families Oh, I love this. This book is just called Bodies Are Cool by Tyler Feder, and it's got all different kinds of bodies, um, all different shapes and sizes, and I just love that very uh, body positive attitude, um, which is starting to become more and more common. And last of all, this is the new book in the Tea Dragon series. I think the first one was called the Tea Dragon Society. They've just been really popular. It's sort of fun because they like the size of picture books, but then um, they're actually graphic novels for a little bit older kids, and the illustrations are just gorgeous all the way through. So that's it. That's my video, but I will be back soon with more. Bye.